Hello there. You are welcome to another episode of To The Point Code. In this episode, we will make our first manual upload of our application and release it into production. Google requires us to make a manual upload of our application at least once to be able to push changes from the command line to our application later on. So let's get started. Now we start by visiting the dashboard of our application and we scroll down on the page so we see publish your app on Google Play. If you don't see this, you can equally come to production. Once you are there, we go ahead to create a new release. Now if you want, we can start by making test releases. This will make our application available for testing by a selected number of people. Otherwise, we can make a production release to make our application accessible to the public. And that is what you are going to do. So to begin, we need to add the countries or regions where we want our application to be available. Now if you are targeting specific countries, you can go through the list and select them one after the other. Otherwise, you can select the checkbox here to make it available in all countries. And that's what I'm going to do. Now let's go back to our dashboard. Now the next thing we need to do is to create a release. So let's do that. Once we are here, we create a new release. Under the play app sign in, we click continue. Now we need to add the build of our application and we we'll make use of the app bundle that we created. So I'll drag and drop it here. Now while our app is uploading, we can go ahead to fill the other details. Now we need to give our release a name. This is just a name to describe this particular version of our application. And as it says here, it will not be shown to our users. So I can just say first release. And in the release note, I can go ahead to add a summary of what has changed. As you can see here, it is optional too. So I'll just put this here for the release note. Now as we can see, the upload of our app bundle is complete. And we can go ahead to save. So as we can see here, we have the chance to upload the bundle again. This means that in the future, if we make any update to our application, we can rebuild it and bring it here. Once we are done, we review the release. Now we have an error here, so let's check it out and fix it. Now it is telling us that we are making use of some permissions which requires us to have a privacy policy set. These permissions were triggered by Espo, so now we need to set a privacy policy. So how do we tackle this? It will take a very long time for us to piece together a privacy policy. So I found one website that enables us to generate a privacy policy for free. So we choose the privacy policy generator. The privacy policy will be used for an app. So now we need to input some details about our application to enable it to generate the privacy policy for us. My application is just a to-do app and I don't take much from the users. And also, I don't take any other additional information. For questions, I can be contacted by email. So I'm using this for just my to-do app, so I'll not make use of the professional privacy policy. 
Now over here we enter our email. Once we've done that, we can generate our privacy policy. Now we see that we have provided a link to the privacy policy. So we copy this link and head back to the dashboard. Now on the dashboard, we visit app content. So we scroll down on the sidebar. So under privacy policy, we click on start. Now over here, we add the link that we copied. Once we've done that, we click on save. Once we've saved, we go back to our release. So we go to the dashboard. So we review our release again. Over here, we click on edit release. And we go to review release. Now we see that we have no errors. We just have a warning. But for the warning, you can just ignore it. So now we click on start rollout to production. So now we see that our application is in review. Now we have the opportunity to view our application on Google Play. And we see that it's not found because the application is still in review. Now since our application is in review, we will leave it here and come back when the status changes. Okay, so after exactly 4 days 5 hours later, our application review is complete and it has been accepted into the Play Store for public download. But for the Google Play Store, it takes a while for new applications to be indexed so that they can be easily searched and discovered. But for now, we can view the application and use the link provided by Google Play to access the application on the Play Store. This is the link. As we can see, our application is live on the Play Store. Also, you can search for your application using the package name that you used while building the app bundle. To do that, you have to precede the package name with pname. This is the package name that I'm talking about. It also be different. So I will demonstrate this using an actual device. So now we open the Google Play Store. So we proceed our package name with pname and search for it. My package name is ttpc.todoapp. Once I do that, you see that my application pops up. Now the package name is unique for every app. So once you search using the package name, you should find only one application. Now I can go ahead to install it. Now we see that our application has installed successfully. Now checking the three dots over here, we have the opportunity to share our application. Now this is very useful to get our initial downloads and also ratings which will enable our application to rise up in the search results. I will put the link in the description so you can check it out and download if you want to. So let's try opening the application. Now we see that our application has installed successfully and it is actually working. So we see that our journey to upload our Expo React Native application to the Google Play Store has been a success. If I get my hands on a Mac in the near future, we will do the same thing for the Apple App Store. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for being a part. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, leave a comment for me and I'll see you in the next episode.